I'm going to record a client today and I'm realizing how important it is to build out a client avatar. I had such a great session and today I want to talk to you more about client avatars. Client avatars helps you create a portfolio or a profile or an idea of the type of client that you want to have in your business. For a music producer like myself, this becomes really handy when I'm trying to reach out to clients. As you start to define more of your client avatar, your advertisements will become better, your branding will become better, your outreach will become better. You can start this by thinking, who is your ideal client? Now, once you get your ideal client, then you can start to have one or two or three ideal clients and start to refine that more. Some of the things that you can do to refine that is start with name, start with age. What type of magazines are they reading? Where are they spending the most amount of time? You'll start to be able to narrow who you can reach out to. It's also great to have client avatars because you don't want somebody coming into your business who is not the right fit. A lot of the times people think I need to go out and get sales. I need to get as many people as possible, but that doesn't create sustainability. What does create sustainability is having a client that fits your needs and also you being a service provider that fits the client's needs. This is extremely important. We could also talk about client portals. Customer portals are super important for the type of customers you're trying to attract, but I'll leave that for next time. I'll actually show you a Notion template that I built out to help you develop your client avatar. This is the client avatar here. I already have three client avatars set up. If you want to start developing your own client avatar for your music business or any business in general, you just click here and it starts a new template and you start filling this out. For example, you can put in the artist name, artist gender, genre, communication, age, children, location, and start building this out. You can also put in the objections to sale. So what would they typically say if they would not uh, make the sale? For example, are their parents the decision makers? Are they the decision makers? What are the challenges? So what are the challenges they had before with other producers, with other people? And what are the pain points? And this really helps you when you dive in those calls where you try to vet your clients and try to make sure you're tackling all their needs and satiating that feeling of, oh, I'm not too sure if I want to do this. And you're building that relationship. So you're pretty much taking care of them all the way through here. And here are some of the descriptions on how to do that. And that's pretty much it. I didn't want to dive too much into client avatars, but I just wanted to say as a business owner, it is crucial that you start developing that to get to know your business better, to get you to know your clients better, to make them happy, to make you happy and to make a symbiotic relationship where they benefit, you benefit, and you're not feeling this tension or pressure to compete. And maybe you don't get the client who is the perfect client, but at least you can keep on refining and start dedicating your outreach to finding that group of people. There's so many people in this world, you're bound to find some people who are in your target niche. And the fun thing about this too, it's not limited. Once you create a client avatar, you might find five clients later, 10 clients later, that isn't your ideal client. So you actually go back and change your client avatar and you can start the whole process again. I just had an amazing session with Raw Hype to Major. He falls in so many of the categories of my client avatar. We're able to have such a great working relationship, very symbiotic, and it's all attributed to what I envisioned for my clients and what they envisioned for me. I want it to be reciprocal and I get that feedback and I'm really happy with the result. I highly recommend going ahead to create a client avatar, especially if you haven't before. It's always good to have this for your business and it's always good to try out new things. If it doesn't work for you, that's completely fine. But you can say you did it. And you can say, you know what? I tried this out. It didn't work for me or it did. Just looking to give you some recommendations one piece at a time. Until next time.